In the last episode, I showed you how to make this deliciously automatic chocolate factory where supplying sugarcane will get you a nice chocolatey treat. And in today's episode, you'll be learning how to get yourself an endless supply of blaze cakes for all of your superheating needs. So welcome back my friends to Hobble Creates. My name is Hobble and if you're new here then be sure to hit that subscribe button and remember to leave a like. So I was surprised to find out the blaze cakes are actually useless in Vanilla Create. The only use they have is turning cobblestone into lava, 50 millibuckets of lava. However, in order to actually make a blaze cake, you're going to need 250 millibuckets of lava, and they only last for 50 seconds. That's a very bad deal. However, mod packs are absolutely genius, and they've taken superheating, and they've actually added it to most of their progression, so there is still a reason to make blaze cakes, just not in vanilla create. So in order to make a blaze cake, we are going to need to make a blaze cake base. That's going to require some eggs, some sugar, and some cinder flour which we can actually get from netherrack now in vanilla create there is no way to generate netherrack so you're gonna have to go to the nether you can bring your mining machine with you head off to the nether mine yourself a bunch of netherrack and we're gonna throw it into today's machine so why don't we actually start today's build so we're gonna need to place down a temporary block and on there we're gonna pop on a basin and then on top of that basin we need a mechanical press this is where all of our blaze cake bases are actually going to get made then in three directions we're gonna need to put down a belt so we're gonna have one off to the right one off to the left and one out the back and let's go ahead and hook those up with some belts and then at the end of the belts we're just going to add in some funnels on our right hand belt this is where we're going to have all of our sugarcane come in now of course the sugarcane is coming from our sugarcane farm which i did show you how to automate in a previous episode and much like in the last episode we're going to be turning that into sugar so we're going to leave a one block gap and we're going to add in a millstone and either side of that millstone we're going to add in a funnel now we're going to connect our power to this belt here and then everything else is going to be powered from this one belt. So now I'm going to be using the creative motor but you guys can very easily just pop up a windmill, plug it into your main power line, it's completely up to you. Then to easily power the other belts we just need to pop a gearbox in here and one down here. Now all of the belts should be going into our basin. Now let's throw a shaft in under our millstone, add in a vertical gearbox and then a cogwheel. That's going to give power to our millstone. Now on this rear line, this is where we're going to be putting in all of our netherrack. It's going to get automatically turned into cinder flour and sent into here. So we're going to need to set up some crushing wheels. Easiest way is to throw in a shaft, add in a vertical gearbox on either side and then a crushing wheel on either side of those. Then a temporary block, a barrel and a funnel. Then we just need to throw any netherrack that we've got into this barrel, it'll send it through into the system, get crushed down into cinder flour. Now working from the sugar belt, we're going to add in a shaft on this side, we're going to bring it all the way down two blocks before the end of that belt, and we're going to make a new conveyor belt. This is where all of our cake bases are going to go. Then one block to the left of that, we're going to add in an item vault. On that, we're going to add in a funnel. On the other side, another funnel. Then on the same block as this funnel, we're going to add in a spout. Then finally, at the end of this belt, we're going to add in an item vault and a funnel. This is where all of our blaze cakes are actually going to end up. Now let's work on our lava generator. So we're going to come around the back of our spout. We're going to add in a fluid pipe, a mechanical pump, another fluid pipe, and we're going to run this down to the floor. And we're going to make a spot where we can place down nine of our cauldrons. So we've got nine pipes. We're going to add nine cauldrons on the top of those. We're going to add in a temporary block and then a building block. It can be any block you want as long as it is a full solid block. Because on the bottom of this block, we'll need to add in a pointed dripstone. But we're going to extend this out now nine blocks. A temporary block on the corner. And that's going to allow us to then build a little bit of a frame in order to keep our lava in. Lava sources in the top and pointed dripstone on the bottom. Did you know that on average it takes 19 minutes for one cauldron to fill up with lava? So that means that to produce enough lava to make one blaze cake every 50 seconds, we technically only need six of these cauldrons. However, we're going to play it safe because it is an average and we don't want to run out of lava, do we? So that means we're going to be going for nine instead of six. Well, let's now connect some power to our mechanical pump. So right underneath it, on this belt, we're going to add in a shaft. Then we're just going to take a cogwheel and add two of those in. That gives us our rotational power. We can go ahead and make it a glass fluid pipe. And we should see a little bit of lava working its way into our spout. Now the reason that we've done the lava before we've supplied the eggs is I actually want to tuck our chickens just up against our lava system. So that means that we need to now extend this belt out maybe two blocks because we're going to have our belt come across to the side. Now I've left a one block gap because that's going to make it a lot easier to connect this up to power. We're going to add a shaft into this belt here. We're going to add another one into the back. We're going to add in one gearbox, two gearbox and then a shaft into that belt. That's probably the neatest way that we're going to extend that power around to this belt. 
and on this belt we are going to pop down three chutes. Because on top of these chutes we are going to be keeping our chickens so that means that we are going to need to build a little bit of an enclosure now to stop our chickens from wandering off. Did you know that it could take up to 10 minutes for a chicken to lay an egg? And since we want to produce one blaze cake every 50 seconds, we're going to need on average 12 chickens. So we're going to be using 12, so that's 1, 2, 3. Now of course some of these chickens will lay eggs every 5 minutes, every 6 minutes. We are going to go for the absolute worst case scenario and maybe all chickens would take 10 minutes. But since we are going to be producing more eggs than we actually need, we can go ahead and add in an item vault. We can add a funnel on one side, a funnel on the other. We now have a stockpile of eggs. Not really sure why we need a stockpile of eggs, but we're going to have a stockpile of eggs anyway. Now the last thing to power is going to be our mechanical press. So I'm actually going to rotate this so we're facing towards our mechanical pump. We're going to add in a cog wheel, a gearbox on top of our pipe and a shaft. Add some netherrack into our barrel and then all we need to do is wait for our chickens to lay an egg. Or since you've been around the world and you've got eggs in storage, why don't we go ahead now and just throw some of those eggs into the system. Kind of preload this a little bit. Make it a little bit quicker, but as you can see then, blaze cakes are now being created. So the cake bases get made in our basin over here, get spat out into a bit of bulk storage because lava is going to take a little while to generate. So it'd be nice to have some cake bases waiting in storage for us. And the factory is done, my friends. So if you did enjoy yourself and you learned something new, then be sure to hit that subscribe button as you are not going to want to miss the next episode. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye guys.